here I am at beautiful Great up. Uh, where come on? Birch Lake, <laughs> Saskatchewan. Just outside of Creighton, Saskatchewan. This phone, I cannot switch the view while it's on. I know it's stupid, but I can't do it. So I'll turn you around. But this is not the whole lake. And I got my... My uh, chicken salad with cranberries and wheat crackers for lunch. Ah, got my little fire going. A little smoky, but that's okay. Okay, there's another whole part of this lake. It goes down that way. I can't see because like I say, I got to... Turn my camera and my phone around. I can't turn the camera around because it won't switch. It goes down around that way. There's some cabins down there. And if we go down this way here, it goes around the point, down a little bit, and then it curves back that way. And it goes through, comes back this way, and this way goes through like a little um, narrows. And then it opens up to another big part of the lake. And in the little narrows in there, if you look on the uh, Google Earth, just type in, even just Creighton, Saskatchewan, and zoom out, and you'll see Birch Lake. And you'll see that spot I'm talking about where it goes around there, through channels. Buddy caught a huge, humongous jackfish in there about oh, five, six years ago. That thing was pretty close to five feet long but really skinny really really skinny that was in the wind no that was in summertime yeah but I caught a great big one down there around the corner in the winter and it was about three and a half feet long and it was really skinny and that was in the winter And I got a witness to that. My buddy uh, Ken Jacobson, he was with me that day. So, I'm gonna buy chicken salad. I like those ones that are with the tuna better. But the dollar store, a red apple up here in Flint Lawn didn't have any in. So I, I had to get those ones. Fire smoking away. I tried to chop that, that log up. Stupid axe, my little axe there. Couldn't even chop through it. So I thought, eh, I'll just throw the whole thing in there, let it smolder away. Uh, last, I, I, I was here last summer, and there was a pail that I used to put the water out. <laughs> yeah, put the water out. To put the fire out with lake water. And I can't find that pail. It was an old paint pail. And somebody threw it away. Hey, this picture looks pretty good in the shadow. <laughs> ah. Oh, garbage. Uh, people leaving the garbage out here. They're not taking the garbage home. I guess I could use this to carry water from the lake up to the fire pit. Look at the trees all down here. If I come in with a chainsaw, cut all these. Because dead trees in Saskatchewan and Manitoba, as long as they're dead, if they're dead standing, you can cut them down. If they're, well, obviously if they're dead laying down, you can cut them all up and use them for firewood. This guy is not quite dead yet. That guy is dead. <laughs> Oh, bless me. Ah. Yeah, I, I don't know where that uh, old paint pail went to. Because last summer in my videos, I left it right here. 
Why would somebody take an old paint can? In my quad sitting beside the busted down boot. I was, last summer I was planning to cut down that stump and cut down that stump. And I could have drove my quad right up to here. <laughs> Be lazy, then I wouldn't have so far to walk. Oh, the hook I'm using today. Ah. 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 Come here. It's this guy. The floater with little lip on there. I think the package says it'll go, it'll go down to four to six feet, depending on how how fast you're going. But I've been here for well, maybe an hour already, and I've been throwing the hook over there, out there, over there, around the weeds there. Nothing. Not even following it in. So I think all the fish must be still at the creeks. And there is no real creek that flows out of Birch Lake. Not that I know of. No, there's not one down there. Not down there by the cabins. No, this is almost like a... It gets run off from the swamps. But that's about it. There's no creeks that run in here. So I don't know where the fish went to, so bye, talk to you later. This is going to be a short video. I'm checking out a new video editor. So I'm, I'm just going to make a short video to see if, if it could really be easier then um, clip chat. Okay, that's a... Um... Hey everybody, welcome back. We are looking at some more scammers getting scams. Oh uh, yeah, I'll just have it go on to two minutes. And then... I'll check it out. My nose, my nose... Uh, something on my nose, a uh, piece of dry spot on my nose there. Uh, Okay, 208. Time to check out a new video editor. Bye bye. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. I, I shaved. <laughs> Couple days ago. Okay, back there, where I show you the water, there's no suckers in there uh, again today. Oh, a shout out to Mel M Melanie, Melody, Franklin. I think, I think that was your name. You forgot to put down where you're from. You saw my video. You said I was awesome. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, but I'm just curious as to where you are. Because I know I got one guy from Germany. Can't remember his name. Another On my channel, or on my Facebook you know, profile, it says 13 subscribers. I click on 
See all? It only shows two. Why it doesn't show my other 11, I have no idea what's going on. And that uh, Miss or Mrs. Franklin, I'm pretty sure your name is uh, Melody. Melanie, whatever. You don't have any uh, YouTube videos. That seems strange. Same as that other one. Uh, I can't remember what her name is, but I think she's from around Slim Thon Creighton area. I think. Don't quote me on that, because there was a bunch of them on Facebook, so I didn't know which one is hers. Because she doesn't have videos, so I can't see what she looks like. Like with me. You can see what I look like. Close up. <laughs> uh, yeah, so when they look and they see Craig Kitson on Facebook, then they can see my picture. And they know that's me, because that's what I look like. So... Oh, I'm heading to Birch Lake, Saskatchewan. So, I'll see you there if nothing else exciting happens. Bye-bye.